Hey guys, Altitude Cow here, and I lied. I'm recording this a few days after I recorded the other one. But now I can show you everything I've built. Ah. Well, not everything. I've built <laughs> a couple things since. So I try not to show those. But you might catch a glimpse if you pay attention a lot. Uh, person 2011 or uh, whatever just left. He's a nice guy. You go to school together. So I died and I lost some nice stuff. I lost a silk touch pick, nice sword I had. That was like a two shock kill on everything. And I lost my working pick. So now until I get enough levels to enchant another one, so level 20-ish, I'm just going to use a stone pick because I really don't care that much. And I still have my nice axe. I enchanted this level 30. Efficiency 3, I believe. And I did set up something to, like, a small XP phone, but that's not something I'm going to show, because that's not what I said I showed last episode. But you will see that in the episode after this episode. So, approaching now, we are at the mob system. This works much better when there's less people on. Like, sometimes it just doesn't work at all. I just took a screenshot. Like... There aren't many mobs up there currently, and I think parts are unfinished. It's an auto-kill thing. So, this whole area isn't finished. It's a work in progress. So, let's go in and... Yeah, I think a creeper just died there. It works really well when you're the only person on, like... There's 10 or 15... Ah, no, don't want to lose that sword. It's a good one. It's a Smite 5 Fire Aspect 2 sword. Mm. This one, I don't really know how this one works. Like sometimes I can get one hit kill. Sometimes it takes like three hits. I don't know. So every layer of the system I marked with, as you can see, if you're watching the top of the screen, netherrack. Yes, At the top of this pillar is the building limit. We. So, oh no. Well, this is a good time to show what each layer looks like. Ooh, I should get a cat sometime. So each layer... Well, let's start off with something else. This whole thing is based off of Ethos Design, but I believe I've made it more efficient. Like, in Ethos Design... I'll see if I can show it without, like, screwing everything up. And I did because I don't have room for jungle wood. Great. I can deal with that later. Ethos design has it instead of like the way I have it. He his design has it go like that. But since it's only a too high room, if there's a mob that spawns back here, they're gonna have a really tough time walking off there because they can't walk over this half slab. So in my design, any mob can move one spot and fall off. So. I'll have to patch that up later. Yeah. So, I might show you how to build this in creative in one of my creative worlds that I have. So, let's go take a look at that. Then, when I come back, I can show you what I have of the nether house so far. I'm back, and we have the base all laid out here. The sandstone represents where the water's going to go. The normal wood is where the spawning pads are going to go, so the inside ones and the outside, and the dark wood is the walls of it. Of course you can use any material you want as long as it's a solid material. And I know I forgot to add half slabs, actually I didn't know that <laughs> until just a second ago, but that doesn't matter. So once you finish the base below you'll be left with something very similar to this. So except you will have a hole there. So what you want to do is you want to build up all the places with wood and you want to make it too high. The pads are all two blocks high now, but I realized I forgot to mention something. How, like, ah, the dimensions of this. So from this block here, the one I'm standing on, to this sandstone here is eight. And from this block here, to this intersection here, there's three in between. That means from here to this corner is also eight. 
So now that you have all of those done, what you will want to do is you want to build up your walls and make them three high. Yes, because that's where the roof is going to go eventually. So I'm going to go do that. Yep, I know I'm not doing much building on camera, but I am going to finish all that building and I will be back for the last couple steps. I'll see you then. All finished, so we have the walls up all the way around. So the next step we want to do is half slabs. So I'm going to use wooden slabs for this, but you can use slabs of any kind. Also, if you don't have slabs, you can use pretty much any solid block that mobs can't spawn on. So you can use, I think, you can use glass. You might be able to use leaves or anything, but for this purpose, Actually, not not anything. I don't actually know which blocks mobs can't spawn on, which means I shouldn't have really said that. But back to this, I'm going to add the half slabs. So you want to add them in each of the edge pads right in the very middle block. That way you're leaving these five pad. <laughs> sorry. These five areas open, and you have eight of those pads, so that's 40 outside pad and then for the insides you want to leave eight open by placing it in the middle and that means you have quick math 32 there whatever I said there yep well you should bring a calculator I yeah so once that is done you're pretty much done a layer of it you want to get out your water and you want to place waters in the farthest corners of the diamond shape and the water should run straight to the middle but it shouldn't go over that was an accident even though water does go there I don't really want to place that yet so it should look like that from the top except without that there so it should look like that from the top and now you want to place the edge water in these spots the diagonal from those pads. Once that's finished, you have the first layer of the mob system complete. And now what you want to do is start the next layer. So I'm going to, hmm, I'll just cover this up with dark wood. And that's all there is to it. That's what I did on the breakfast craft server. And I just did that over and over and over again. And I think I'm at eight or so levels in my mob system so it's fairly efficient and it works very nicely and it's easy to build so I'll see you again back on the breakfast craft server and we'll take a look at my nether house bye bye for now I don't know if I've showed my nether house yet I mean the area that's in or anything in the nether but in case you didn't know here's my portal Yay, it's just down here in my house, so... Oh. Oops, one second. Language. Love doing that. They're interrogating some guy, kind of, because he did some stuff that he shouldn't have done, like tearing down a path and whatnot. But here, as it comes to the portal, someone left me this beautiful sign. Welcome to hell, have a nice day. Very nice, and here's my nether house so far. I know it looks awful from the outside. Ah, wow, lag. Last time I was here, the it was ah. Last time I was here with a uh, psych monkey doing the tour, it was lagging a lot too. But that only really happens when I'm recording. Normally I get a lot better than 20 FPS like I'm getting now. Okay, so here we are. My nether house looks bad on the outside. I like the area it's in because it's on the top of a hill. But on the inside, it looks pretty nice. So there's a piston door and nothing in that chest. Or maybe there was and I was robbed. I don't care. And it's a little piston door that opens and you're all knocking futs. <laughs> Okay, and here there's a little glass so that you can watch the torch go on and off as it opens. 
the wiring is not that complicated. But here is what it looks like from the inside. A couple torches fell out apparently. Probably from they poured water down. So it's beautiful, isn't it? Yep, we have nice five high ceilings. This little staircase in the middle with a path to get off here. The second floor. None of this is finished that uh, none of this is finished yet. So lots of stuff I don't really like about it. Under here. There's oh a leg. But under here there is redstone, so I can't really get rid of those half slabs. Unless I want to like do something with that area, like add a couch. That might look cool. Don't have any stairs on me. Ah, that this is not a good day for like lag. But this is what I have so far up here. Still work in progress. I added this little dirt thing if you want to get up to there. It helps you a bit. And as you can see there, I have some water that I want to use sometime. Once I we add silk touch, I mean ice to silk touch, not silk touch to ice. What was I thinking? So I added a bit of water up there, like Etho did kind of. Just so that when they do get that and take that away, I have water in the nether. And I have a water drop in my house. So I can get down quickly, and I can leave again whenever I want to. I'm sorry this video in the nether is really laggy, but there's not really much I can do about that. It might be because we have almost a full house, one person away. Yeah, so I will see you guys next time, and we will take a look at a couple more things I've built. We'll take a look at the XP system I have now. Uh, prob we might take a look at Gricer's sugar cane phone that he built me, and we also might look at the tower that I built on the top of the hill. Oh, and there's a path I renovated the path that I had before out of wood, if you remember that. And I will see you then, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.